Hey everybody, it's Tyler from GSL here, just doing a, an achievement rundown of the game Lies of Astaroth. Astaroth. I don't know how to fucking pronounce it properly, but uh, you'll be able to fi find it in the um, Xbox Game Store, and it's free. It's a free-to-play game, and honestly, the achievements are easy as fuck. This is, this is Girls on Prom Night easy. Um, it's a fairly new game, so if you head over to True Achievements and look it up, it doesn't have any walkers or anything, but in my opinion, you can nail this one out in a day. Um, the game itself, shit. You're not playing this game to play the, to have fun. You're playing this game to get a couple extra achievements in the old achievement department. Um, it ranges from collecting 50 different cards, uh, to signing in 30 times in a row per day. Or sorry, once a day, 30 days in a row. Uh, to describe the game a little bit, it's a lot like Hearthstone if you've ever played that. Or like a dumbed down handicap version of Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic. Magic the Gathering. Um, there are 4,770 gamers tracking this game. And no one's completed it yet. And I feel like that's due to how new it is. And how boring the game actually is uh, you'll notice with my gameplay I get three cards out and after that the game fucking finishes the match on its own literally it's three cards the matches take ten fucking seconds um, yeah there's 48 achievements worth uh, a total of a thousand points um, there's no secret achievements and uh, to be honest, uh, the only ones that look kind of hard are unlock six hidden levels worth 50 gamer score, um, getting a five star card, and uh, just stuff like that that you know might even be the in the natural progression of the game. But if it's not, it might take a little bit of poking and prodding. Uh, the game was having a couple glitches when it first came out. I noticed in the Xbox Game Hub that. It uh, had difficulty for people signing in, but they put out a lot of hot fixes that fix that issue. It's uh, it's it's an okay game. Don't go into it thinking you're gonna have fun though. You get some free side boob and cleavage, so that's a bonus. Uh, for miladies, you know, you get there's some good hair colors in there, some pastel makeups. <laughs> whatever girls like I don't actually know but you know it it's an okay game uh, there is microtransactions in the game which might speed up the game but I don't recommend spending any money J I was able to unlock I think 15 cards just from completing the tutorial or something like that and I got I think it was 50 gamer score th out of three achievements for completing the tutorial alone so this is uh, this has been my rundown of the game Lies of Astaroth. Uh, as far as gamer score goes, it doesn't get better than free, and this game is free. So I think you should check it out. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Um, like I said, this is the third time I'm saying it. Do not expect a good game. Expect good gamer score. Um, I'd like to thank you guys for stopping by. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments and click the subscribe button. Or else I won't even fucking talk to you ever again. Maybe. Nah, I love you guys. Bye.